Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, this is crazy, are you ready? This is 2015, we're looking at a 1990 Jeep and I'm saying, man, this thing looks really nice. It can't be but a few years old. It's 25 years old is what we're talking about, which is unbelievable. This thing has been garage driven like around 4,000 miles a year. This is not your typical off-road uh, beat up Jeep. It was garaged and things like that. Not only that, it has some great options that, believe it or not, in the 90s, Jeeps didn't come with. Today it's all standard, but back then it was not. So what we did is we added a tiny little lift kit to it, put a new set of wheels and tires on it, nice decal set up, and pop the top on here because this is optional as well, the hard top, and you have one fun, fun Jeep, all right? Anyway, uh, come on for a second. I'd like to, to talk about this right here. I can't tell you if this is original paint or not. I'm gonna say it's probably not because it's so nice. I don't think Jeep had this nice of paint. It's actually over restored, but it does have uh, incredible shine. So it doesn't hurt my feelings that it has new paint on it, and I think that it makes it even nicer. So all this stuff here, for instance, like uh, is detailed with these chrome updated bumper here, chrome grill update. The winch is really nice to have, plus it has a remote, uh, so you don't obviously have to stand there and hold the winch while everything's working. Come check out the wheels and tires that we did. Inside here is power disc brakes, all right? These are brand new wheels, BFGs, all terrains. I think this looks great. And we have the hard top on it right now. Once you take the, uh, the hard top off, uh, it is a whole different world of driving. And you can get soft doors for it if you want to. And you can get a full soft top. We can get that for you as well. Just ask us, we can help you get that. Uh, but taking your kids and stuff out or another couple out in a Jeep, there really is no experience like that other than maybe a motorcycle. And if you've ridden on a motorcycle, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so let's keep rolling around. All right, the hard top here, color match roll bar cover inside. This is tinted glass because this is an air conditioned Jeep. All right, another spare tire here. I just ordered a spare tire cover, okay? So this will be nice and black. Uh, we can order one in tan if you want, but I just ordered uh, one in black, so just finish it off. But I wanted to get the video done uh, so you could really see the incredible condition uh, of this vehicle. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood. Even though you're not gonna spend a lot of time there, that's a good place to know what kind of Jeep you're really getting. All right, so come around here for a second and uh, I'm gonna tell you why I spend a little bit of time in here. Because if you're buying a vehicle and it's really been off-roaded and uh, you know just not been taken care of, what they call uh, road hard and put away wet, right? You're gonna find some rusty things, some ugliness, mud in places they shouldn't have had. If anybody's been to the beach and got hit by a giant wave, you've had stuff in places you didn't wanna have in it either. You know exactly what I'm talking about. So come in here for a second. Like for instance, like here's the wiring. Look how nice the colors are still on there. You can see here, this is the tag, the cow tag. These are the options that were on the vehicle, all right? This is all original paint in here, which makes it, me happy that it still has these original decals. And one of the things I love so much about original decals is it shows that the vehicle hasn't been an accident and this piece has been replaced. This is the first pieces that would go. And so it says to me, wow, this is really well taken care of. And it's detailed too in here. It looks really nice. If you wanted to go to a show, remember that this year in Maryland, uh, maybe everywhere else in, as well, but this vehicle is 25 years old. It qualifies for historic tags, which is bad A. When you think about it, no inspection, no emissions, none of that stuff. You just get tagged, boom, and there you go. Old school Jeep hood pins. Okay, so a lot of the Jeep we know already is fun. So now what we're gonna talk about a little bit more is the functionality of it, because that's the one part most people forget. So check this out. This swings out here, right? Hard top here, all right? So here we have seating for the kids, another couple, whatever. Now you can also fold this seat down, okay? And then fold it forward, and look at all the storage that you have in here now. I got the seat belts in here for two people. If you guys have extra, uh, if you have an extra child or something like that and need us to add a seatbelt, we can do that as well. All right. But look how beautiful the interior is. This is the original carpet. This is the original padding uh, on the roll bar. All right. And this is why I love these things so much. Nothing says more fun than a Jeep. All right. Now, we took uh, a walk around the sides, we looked at how cool it was, looked under the hood. Now, since you're going to spend a lot of time inside here, I want to show you why. All right, so we talked about, hey, come check it out. And this is why I wanted you to come check it out. All right, so this is, this is why I love these things. First off, there's just a feeling about being up 
and in this thing. And I think quite honestly, Jeep said, you know what, let's build a seat and a steering wheel and we'll build a vehicle around it because as your arm sits in the window, it sits perfectly right here, full array of gauges. This is not a base type thing. Oil pressure, volts, water, stuff like that. Odometer, even a tachometer as well. Keep in mind this is a five speed too, not a four speed, which a lot of the older Jeeps had. And it has air conditioning. Air conditioning was a big deal in 1990, man. Nobody bought air conditioning because it was so expensive on a Jeep, right? And here's a good sign when you know that things are well taken care of. For instance, the clock. The clock even works on this car. We're talking about a 25 year old clock still working, which says, you know what? The guy that owned this uh, really loved it. So it even has tilt wheel, all right? The cruise control uh, is here as well, all right? Intermittent wipers, upgraded uh, Alpine audio system here. So it's digital, it's got all the nice features of a modern radio today. We got a nice little console in here. This is the remote for the winch, all right? This also has a container for taking the faceplate out if you wanna throw that in there, there as well, all right? Cup holders and whatever. The bottom line is this is an incredible vehicle for the money. And uh, it's one of those things like it's worth the same forever, which is uh, really cool. So anyway, how about I start it up for you so you can hear what it sounds like because it has that real great Jeep sound. All right, so as we close up the video on this, we went through a lot of things, but let's talk about some of the great features first. We have a regular Jeep, of course. Everyone has a regular Jeep, but not a Jeep like this. This Jeep striped well, great colors, awesome wheels and tires air conditioning, power disc brakes, right? The nice big six cylinder, 4.2 liter, right? With the five speed. This is a rock crawler. This is a lot of fun and it's well taken care of, man. You see from the video, because the video doesn't hide uh, the, the ugliness. This is really great, not to mention the interior that's fabulous as well. So if uh, you want to get a really cool Jeep for not a lot of money, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.